Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're gonna talk about slow motion. Slow mo. Alright, slow mo. Alright, we're gonna talk about slow mo and、uh, freeze frame. Okay, so let's start off by adding a video in our DaVinci、uh, Resolve. And I chose this one right here. Okay, let me just unlink this. Check out the sound for now. Alright, so you have this video here. So, as you can tell, the normal speed is like this. Pretty simple. Da, 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 right? Now, say you want to choose the part where you want to slow m o s a y right here. Alright, let's start from here. So, we will cut this up. Okay, and I want to end it maybe right here. Okay, let's cut that up. Now you have three pieces. Okay, you just need three pieces. Oh, by the way, this is snapping. You notice how it snaps? To unsnap, you could go like, just unclick this and just snap. Okay, now this piece pieces here. And you want the middle one to slow mo. So here's something to、uh, keep in mind. Whenever you want to slow mo something, please have at least 60 frames per second.、Um, Cause if you're gonna use 30 frame or 24 frame, your video gonna get choppy because you don't have enough frame to work with when you slow motion.、Um, so, so yeah, I see a lot of people like to use higher than 60 frame per second. But、well, there's a difference between that.、Uh, the lower the frame rate, like 24 frame per second, you get more light. On each frame, the higher the frame rate, like let's just say 120 or 720 or more, you get less light into the frame, so your video t e n d to get darker. Okay, while 24 frame, the video g e t brighter.、Uh, so, yeah, that's something to keep in mind. And、um, you will have to choose 120 frame for your slow motion. Make sure you get enough lighting into your frame by having.、Uh, More lighting outside, or have a separate lighting so the camera could pick up more lighting, otherwise, your video is just gonna be dark. But、uh, 60 frame, you can't go wrong in that. So, whenever you want to record slow motion,、uh, you can't go wrong with 60 frame per second. So, make sure your frame is, has at least 60 frame per second. Okay, now you have three p a r t right here, and you want this one to slow motion. All you have to do is right click. And let's change clip speed. Okay, for here,、uh, 100% percent, I mean 100% percent the speed. You could go 50 for 50% percent of the speed. And、uh, make sure you click on this ripple sequence. That way it will, you know, expand when it needs to. So, you, another thing you should understand whenever you slow down a video clip, your strip will tend to expand. Okay, whenever you Faster than the video clip, like speed up, your clip will, will、uh, you know, shorten out. So that's one thing to keep in mind. And you want to make sure you click on this because、um, you want to expand to the right、uh, end point of your next frame. So, for example, I want to slow down by 50%. Uh, uh, 50% so let's see how that looks like. See, you know, that's how it helped me locate. So it, could, so it could smoothly go to you know, to the other frame. Okay, if you don't do that, here's what's gonna happen if you don't do that. Okay, let me.、Uh, if I don't click on this and I put 50%. Right now, now it doesn't. Now you have to find. That point to to flow, you see, it's not flowing. You have to find that point. So instead of finding it, right, instead of finding it, you could just have make sure you click on this and you click 50%. Okay,
Okay, so let's, let's do this again. Okay, okay, change three. Let me shift this is selected. 50%. Now, there you go, it will expand uh, just enough to your next frame. Okay, and uh, in case you don't have enough frame in the middle, you can go down to here and resize this thing. Optical flow. You just add more frame to it to make it smoother. You don't really need it, but in case you do need it, you know, you can just set that. So here you go, let me play this. Now you have a slow mode and then white onto the plane. Okay, now that's for slow motion. Now, if I would go over to Blender and do the same thing, let me add a video. Um, let's see. Ah, let's just pick it in here. This video for a second. Uh, uh, video. Uh, not fire. I'll be this is one. Okay. Let's let's check out the sound for now. Alright, uh, now we have this clip right here. Say I want to do a slow motion. Say right here. Okay. Now I'll cut this part and then I want to end it right. Here, uh, cut it. Now the thing about Blender, uh, when I do slow motion, it doesn't help me get to the frame like Da Vinci was. So this will be a little bit difficult. So in order to do slow motion, same thing. You have three pieces of clip. Now I click on the middle clip. I add a speed control. I hide this one, and I go down to over here. Just put down one and then five. Okay, this means half the speed. One is the fact that one half the speed. Okay, so it slow down, yes. Right? But now I need to find the frame. Let's see. Now I need to uh, <sighs> This is giving me a hard time Alright now I need to find the frame I need to find the frame to match this this segment right here. I don't think that's easy. So you know how it goes. The jump. So that's not where it is. So I need to find that frame. I wonder if there's a better way to do this. I haven't figured a way to do this. Maybe you guys know for Blender, but yeah, this is kind of uh, difficult to do for slow motion. I have to find the exact frame in order for it to be smooth. While on DaVinci, you can just simply just click on this and it will just do that for you. So it's a very, very convenient way of um, doing slow motion. You could even do. Um, 25% of the speed and they will stretch it for you exactly and you can even uh, speed it up say 
150. It will shrink it down for you. So it pretty much go really fast. Shrink it down for you. That way you don't have to worry about looking for the frame. Now let's do um uh freeze. Okay, freeze is the same concept. Uh, let me undo everything. Freeze and Blender is actually quite simple. Okay, it's not that hard. For for instance, say you wanna freeze um, right here. Okay, if you want to freeze, it will be it'll keep going, right? Say you wanna freeze right here. All you have to do is do a hard cut, Shift K, and it will do a hard cut for you. And all you have to do is delete this part. Well, you don't have to delete it. Uh, you can just keep this. Okay, so right here. All you have to do is just put out the lane. Now you have a freeze. Oh, what's going on? Ah, my computer is not that great. Anyway, um, here. Now you have a freeze. So what will happen is that it play to here, and then it start. It just don't move, and then when it get to here, it start moving again. So that's that's the freeze. So in uh, Blender, the freeze is actually quite simple and very straightforward. You know. But for um, Da Vinci, you could do the same thing, but instead of spending, you're gonna have to do a few steps. So let's just say I want my video to freeze right here. So what I need to do, I need to cut it. Okay. Oops, wrong cut. I need to get a precise cut. Well, I got a precise cut. All you need is a snap to do a precise cut. Okay, so from here, say uh, that part here, and then uh, let's move this out of the way. Now, uh, expand this. Now, cut here again. Okay, you could expand this if you want. You know, doesn't matter. Put this together. And then now go to this part right here. Go to change clip speed. Go down to freeze. Okay, that's all you need to do. Freeze. And you change that. So now, now what you left with is now it's freeze and then move again. You see? So you press play. It freeze and then move again. Uh, it's it's also useful. When um when you're doing some effect with uh the Vinci uh, resolve like for example uh, one of these title effects you see here uh, say you want uh title title line title say this one right here okay let me put this right here. Say this one right here. You notice how get to here and then that's it. It's a short, very short animation. Uh, let me first of all, I uh, when you edit this, make sure you edit all the things you need to do here first, like that. Uh, example. Okay, that be the top right here, and then. Uh, Oh, yeah. Oops. And then, uh, final one, uh, hiking. Okay. Now you got the three animated. But you notice it's so short. So you want to do a freeze right here to make this animation longer. So in order to do that, first thing you have to do is uh, 
make new compound right click and make new compound and name it let's say 12 okay create it now this became like a video okay now say you want to do a freeze right here on the on the clip all you have to do like what you did this earlier you cut it up okay now you move this say right here maybe and then uh hold on say right here you span it say let's just say that much and then you cut it up again all right now link this together now from here you go change clip speed and you can freeze and then you change and voila look look at this oh yeah now it's, it's a little longer than before then dispense you see that you stand it a little bit and then dispense there you go that's that's two two way you can use freeze in your video and this is the two uh, one of the way of doing the freeze as you know uh, blender it's kind of it's easy to do the freeze you know but um but yeah blender can really do the slow motion that well because it, well at least i don't know where the function is at if you know then let me know in a, a comment below because i don't know all i know is in davinci i just had this program for what two days and i figured out how you do a slow motion and it's much easier to do a slow motion here then in blender so i hope you like this video and i will see you guys next time peace